come warm yourself with me with some soup. Hi, and welcome to Lunch with Lisa. And today, we're gonna make sausage, potato, and kale soup. It's Lunch with Lisa. It's still really cold in Texas, and in my bountiful basket this week, I got kale, and I got a little potatoes. And I found these chicken sausages at Costco. We're gonna put this all together in a tomato-based soup. It's gonna be so delicious. And I worked out all the macros and it comes out to be only 216 calories per serving with 16 grams of protein, 24 grams of carbs, and only six grams of fat. Super macro friendly. This soup will warm you up and not stretch your waistline. So let's get started. For this recipe, you're going to need some chicken sausage, basil and cracked black pepper, but you don't have to use this. You could use an Italian sausage. Something mild is what you wanna do and low fat with the chicken. So chicken sausage, any kind you want. Yellow onion, some celery, garlic, tomato paste, diced canned tomatoes, bunch of baby red potatoes, chicken broth, salt and pepper, and of course, lots of kale. If you don't like kale, feel free to use something like spinach and some lemon juice. And if you wanna garnish with some Parmesan cheese, freshly grated is best, but all I have on hand is this. Start by removing the sausage from the casing. And if you're having trouble, like me, removing the sausage from the casing, just go ahead and chop it up into small pieces. It's not gonna be that big a deal. I'm gonna use four chicken sausages and cook them in a large heavy pot over medium heat, stirring often to keep crumbling them until they're brown, about five minutes. Then I'm going to add my chopped onion, celery, and garlic, and then I'm gonna cook those, stirring them often until they're softened, about six minutes. Next, I'm going to add a tablespoon of tomato paste and cook that in, stirring it constantly for one minute. Next, I'm going to stir in my can of tomatoes, my baby red potatoes, the chicken broth, the pepper, and the salt. Bring it all to a simmer over medium-high heat. You're gonna cover this and reduce the heat to medium and simmer until the potatoes are tender. It's gonna take about 20 minutes. After that's cooked, you're going to chop up your kale and stir that into the soup. Continue simmering this over medium heat, stirring it occasionally until the kale is wilted and tender. It's gonna be about five minutes with kale. If you're using something like spinach, it's gonna take way less time. Next, squeeze in your lemon juice at the very end. Now you wanna taste this and make sure it has enough salt. Each serving is one and a third cups, so this recipe makes about six servings. You can garnish this with celery leaves and Parmesan if desired serve immediately. Of course, you can always refrigerate this for tomorrow. This smells divine. And putting a little bit of Parmesan cheese, even if it's not fancy shavings, it still gives it a little bit of salt and it smells so delicious. Let's give it a taste. That's a lot of kale. This is such a hearty, delicious soup. You guys will want to add this to your rotation. Oh, it's so good. Now, my mom doesn't like kale. If you don't like kale, you could totally just leave the kale out. You don't even need to put spinach in this or anything unless you want the greens. I tasted this before I put the kale in and it is so good. Seriously, so good. You don't really need the kale unless you like the nutrients. <laughs> this would go good with a side salad or some homemade sourdough bread. Mm, listen to that. And you can learn how to make your own sourdough bread if you follow this link right up here. It's gonna take you right to my video on how I make sourdough bread. Mm, so good, this is so good. I have a feeling, Kristen, you're gonna love this. Nice, healthy ingredients, excellent macros. Oh, can't beat a good soup to have underneath your belt. <laughs> That won't make you need to widen your belt. <laughs> Cannot stop eating this. Leave a comment, let me know how you like this soup. If you think you're gonna love it, if you're gonna leave the kale out, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna mix this up and make it your own somehow? Maybe use a different kinds of sausage? This sausage is really good, you guys. <laughs> what? So good. Ho oh. ho. If you like what you see and you wanna see more, there's a subscribe button right down below. Go ahead and smash it. If you wanna help support me, there's a couple ways you can do it. You can shop below at any of my affiliate links and I might receive a small commission or you could become a patron and watch all my videos one week ahead of time and join all these lovely people. Thank you.
patreon.com slash lenswithlisa. And it's always free to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. It's lunch with Lisa. I'm gonna go see if my son likes this soup as much as I do, I bet he'll love it. This is really good. And I'm not just playing. This is like one of the best soups I've ever eaten.